You're not here because you're in trouble. You are here because you've all had complaints from patients about the dehumanizing lack of empathy. So sympathy is when you see someone else is in pain and you feel sorry for them. Empathy is when you really and truly put yourself in the shoes of another person. Not to just see their pain, but to really feel it. We have role-playing exercises planned today that will go into these differences. Do you think you can do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I'm ready to tackle this whole emotion thing head on. So we're not going to be having any more of your excuses today? No, I'm, I think this is a great exercise. Happy to be here. Great. We'll be talking to each of you one by one. You can wait your turn in the hallway. I've had many emotions in my life. Happiness, anger, sorrow, joy. From time to time, I felt all of these things and am therefore willing and ready to sympathize with the pain of others. Okay, Mary, I think that's great. But one of your patients who's been undergoing excruciating chemotherapy treatments for over a year, she said that you refused to make eye contact with her for an entire checkup. That bad? Mary, I want you to look at me and tell me I have two months to live. Sorry, sir. You have... Come on, Mary. You can do this right here. You have. With your condition, you're going to die... Congratulations, Mary. You just found the worst possible way of telling someone they have a terminal illness. Okay, in my defense, when you give someone bad news, they tend to cry or show negative feelings, and it can be very awkward. My trick is to start doing paperwork until they get the hint and leave. Do you think that maybe they want to share that burden with you? Oh, God, no. Harold here has just found out he's going to die, and he's crying. Show us how you would show him empathy. <sighs> <laughs> okay, that's a start. Can we take a break? I have to go to the bathroom. Do you really have to go to the bathroom or do you just not want to be here? I really have to go. I think you can wait five more minutes. A large number of your patients have said that when they're looking for empathy, you can only respond with a bizarre, high-pitched noise. That's a mischaracterization. See, it's a, it's a very empathetic noise that I'm making. I, I've been making it my whole life, and it... Great, can we hear it? Was that the sound? Yeah. You know, I think that it, to, you gotta hear it in context. Is, um, can you, can you pretend you're sick? And I'll... <clears throat> Ouch, my stomach. <clears throat> Greg, we love the enthusiasm, but people actually respond better to words or questions like, I'm here with you, or I know how much pain you're in. Do you want to try one of those? Yeah, yeah. Let me do the noise one more time. Mm. I think I'm right. I'm like right. Oh, you know. Good to finally sit down with you, Todd. Let me introduce an actor we've hired to uh, play someone suffering with 
bubonic plague. Will you be able to show him empathy? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, what is this, Halloween? <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, we're just diving right in. OK, cool. Um, whew, right? <laughs> I feel bad, Doc. What do I do? <coughs> should, should I diagnose the patient? OK. Um, so tell me, on a scale from 1 to 10, uh, what's your pain level? Oh, right. <laughs> he said he has the bubonic plague. Okay. You have the plague. Uh, tell me how you're feeling. It hurts real bad. I can't hug my kids in the morning. I can't help my son with his homework. And I don't even know how they'll remember me. Was I even a, a, a presence in their lives? Or will they just remember me as this, this decrepit freak laying in bed, waiting to die? Well, that does sound like a bummer. But you know, I think in these situations, it's important to have perspective. Have you heard what's going on in Liberia right now? I mean, things could be worse. You're denying his pain. Stop denying his They're pain. They're, like, chopping people's heads Listen off. to him. OK, shit. I suck at this, OK? Just tell me what to say. It doesn't work that way. You've got this, Todd. Just be with him. Stop thinking and be in the moment. OK. I got this. Good boy. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I'm not gonna let anyone hurt you. Todd, no. That was weird. Ah, sorry! We know. We know that you're still traumatized by those eight kids that died during your shift. What? No. Your coworker Emma just had three die last week. She's not being a drama queen about it. You're minimizing my pain just like you said I was doing with him. Where's my empathy, huh? Huh? Maybe you're just not cut out to be a doctor, Todd. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, you know, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I. I I'm fine. I, I think we actually accomplished a lot here today. And I'm glad we all did this wonderful job. Kudos all around. Thank you. I feel great. Thanks. So would I still get paid for this?